it originally came as a library, okay? Robot Legs was a library. I always called it a framework, but the inventors were pretty hardcore, Sean and Till and all those guys, and even even the, the main marketer, Joel Hooks, was like, nope, it's a library. It just so happens to have an NBC implementation, but you can do whatever you want. That sounds great, guys. I just want to use it. So that's something to be aware of. Sample v, it had the sample MV, uh, MVCS implementation, but I called it a framework, okay? So they had like MVC core, and then they had like the MVCS impl, and that was their opinion of what it should be. There were some smart people that took it to a different level. Robert Penner, he created his own simple MVCS implementation. It was very heavy on the controller. So actually, instead of doing dispatch an event to launch a command, just make a controller class. It's called the user controller. It'll respond to the user view and set things on the user model. I don't understand why we go to these events. Why can't we just have methods? Makes sense, Robert Penner. And Robert Penner, if you know him, he's a very smart, you know, mathematician Canadian guy. So he's freaking awesome, right? So it was very, um, it was interesting when he took it to the signals level. Signals are a way, because you can't object pull events. Signals also had, at least in a strongly typed language, with good tooling, a better API discoverability, a lot uh, very similar to Objective C's event handling system. So Robert Penner had some really good ideas that I would have never thought of. Would have been capable of doing had Robot Legs not been a library with a framework implementation. Make sense? I like how they assume like we're smart enough to like do that. Okay, maybe you guys are, but whatever. Elad Oram, the crazy Israeli. I love that guy. He had a passive. He's big too, man. <sighs> Beefcake. He had a, a really good passive view implementation with the presenter, where he created a passive view. It was a flex view, MXML or ActionScript. It had no logic around it, right? But it was very passive, no action script, and then he would create a code behind or a presenter to do that and link those two together. Another interesting implementation, and a lot of people like that too. Uh, my favorite, asynchronous commands, kind of an accident from Karen Gorm 1. It allows you to have a command deal with asynchronous operations, okay? So rather than being most languages like Java and others, which even do networking as blocking, right? ActionScript didn't do that, and Lua doesn't either. 